The global media campaign to end FGM started life at the Guardian newspaper in London with a group of women journalists wanting to use media to help end FGM. We knew how to support activists to run media campaigns, but supported by UNFPA, as we grew into the biggest media campaign tackling FGM in the world, we had to be sure that what we were doing was having an impact. We employed impact measurement teams to conduct field trips, like this one to Tana River in Kenya. Since 2017, the team has been making this long journey through rain and shine. The team travels to the remotest villages going from door to door conducting surveys about whether media messaging is affecting people's attitudes to FGM. Importantly, it's always the same team that keeps coming back here. Being consistent is how they've gained the community's trust and this is crucial to ensuring that their data is accurate. The impact measurement team conducts dozens of focus group studies with various community members including teenage girls and boys, community elders, religious leaders, politicians, chiefs and cutters, like the circumciser who gave up the practice. The team also conducts random surveys in the marketplace, questioning up to 200 people over the course of several days. And results have been very promising. People were more aware of what FGM was doing to their body, doing to their women. There's also a significant increase in knowledge of the dangers and the harmful effects of FGM. This increase in knowledge is definitely as a result of the media campaigns on the ground. People are being educated more and more in the local FM radios. 60% are listening to the radio through their mobile phones. They are very cheap and affordable to the community and can access the local FM without any internet connection. The driving force behind those media campaigns on the ground is Sadia Hussein, one of Africa's most outstanding FGM media campaigners. The radio, I didn't know how to use them. I used to knock doors talking to people and my work was never recognised. But after attending GMC's Media Training Academy in 2017, Sadia very quickly became a leading media activist. Now I can say I'm very confident. I've amplified my work through social media, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook. Since then, she's been the driving force behind the fall in FGM rates in Tana River. Her key strategy is getting religious leaders on air. I've seen a lot of changes in my community since I've begun engaging the religious leaders because the society believes in what religious leaders say. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. Before there was no religious leader talking about FGM. There is no members of the community who are talking about FGM. But people are now freely talking about FGM. So that is a great change. Many people are getting the message clearly. Using the media to end FGM is really, really, really very important. Our latest survey shows an 84% reduction in support for type 3 FGM. In Mali in 2020, our Bamako office ran the first ever FGM campaign to go out on national TV. It featured activists and religious leaders and ran every night for six months. Une fille non excisée est aussi vertueuse qu'une fille excisée. Phone surveys showed this campaign led to an 8% fall in support for FGM after six months of broadcast. While the latest study in Nigeria shows a 14% drop in just six months. A year before the outbreak of COVID, GMC took our learning online and partnered with international lean data specialist 60 decibels. They carry out research through light touch mobile phone surveys using WhatsApp and texting. Since 2020, they've been challenging their experience in the commercial world to measure the impact of anti-FGM media campaigns commissioned by big agencies like UNFPA, PLAN and the World Bank. Our third method comes live from WhatsApp forums, where over a thousand activists campaigning across 10 countries continuously share first-hand teachings on what works and what doesn't. The more we go on the ground, the more we see the impact of GMC interventions. It is working. It is working well. So sustaining these media campaigns is very critical. Since 2017, we've run 11 impact measurement studies, one in Sierra Leone, two in Nigeria, three in Mali, and five in Kenya. And the results of all these studies confirm that media is a crucial tool for speeding up the eradication of FGM. <laughs>